Welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War 2. This will be Operation Redolent Gem, where we will be recovering an item from an admin role with a, you know, fairly sizable team of... It's just, yeah, fairly sizable team of six, so this should be a fairly straightforward mission. But of course, who knows what might happen. I haven't actually played this game in more than a week because I've been so busy with work. And finally, I'm having a breather to actually play this. Of course, you, you won't know if I... Um, it, yeah, it's been about a week and a half since I recorded the last episode, so, so it will be, um, if I'm a little bit shaky, then of course, at least that's the reason, because, um, as, um, some of you know, or if you watch my, um, the end of season 2 video, you will know that, basically, I teach mathematics at a bunch of universities or colleges, for those of you in the US, and, um, it was basically end of the semester, which basically meant that I had, like, 200 or 300 assignments, and, um, and um, tests to mark, which basically just took up all my spare time, and I was just kind of just getting really sucky and miserable. But it's finally, it's finally, well, it's mostly over. Just, just some loose ends to tie out, so finally have a bit of time just to sit down and record another episode of Com 2, which, which of course we're just jumping straight into the battle. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Alright, so we've already uncovered a team of two, thankfully with our, um, our, our uh, specialist, interestingly enough. I really probably should have moved forward with my Shinobi, but I don't think that's really going to be too much of an issue for the time being. So she can sneak over here, remain in concealment while we get the ball rolling. Now, I've got a technical with assault rifle, which is kind of an affront, to be honest, got because, um, because we kind of, because basically the reason I equip technicals with SMGs is that, that. I I basically want them to be a little, uh, I basically want them to Getting be done. close to people, close to people as possible. So it kind, it's kind of a, it's kind of an affront to sort of put them to give them an assault rifle because because as a result they will be slower. So not very fun to kind of just move around with, so to speak. And um, it's sort of the same with specialists, I give them an SMG, give them a bit more mobility. They can get a nice flank if they can. Um, but more importantly, the mobility is definitely much more important. In, um, mostly in terms of relocating, you kind of want to be able to uh, see as many people as possible. For A protocol, you want to be able to um, at least have the flexibility and maybe, you know, flank a little bit every now and then. So, now we're... Oh, oh hello. I have a feeling we should do I will we should do Overwatch next. So that um we should do a mass overwatch next. So for anyone else who can get closer they should. Now the drone is up there, so uh I think the question is can I move anyone closer right now? Um I can move my ranger over here, but I really won't put her in a good position to shoot next turn, so and I, I sort of want to want my range to get to get the height advantage. So out. I'll move it here, pull an overwatch. Uh, Shinobi's gonna move around a little bit more just to kind of suss Moving out the position. place. And then everyone else is gonna go on overwatch, I think. Yep. Uh, overwatch all. On on my range, got my eyes on. Bring on the pain. Haha. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Uh oh. Okay. No, that those guys can only be seen by the Shinobi. So I don't have to worry about them just yet. I was obviously when they when they activate and we get a little bit closer, that's when we that's when we start have to worry about that. All right, drone. Here we go. How many will remain alive? I wonder. All right, All right one down. Both of them are down. Excellent. Oh, now the joint gets a turn. And the range gets a sh Oh, that, that is a shit. That's another miss as well. That's amazing. Oh, it's another drone. Okay, sure. One thing one thing we do is that now now the timer actually starts, so it's gonna be kind of annoying, but uh, we don't have to worry about them just yet until they activate, so let's not be too hasty for the time being. Um I kinda wanna do this. <laughs> of course. Kinda need a better aim than that. Alright, alright. Uh, no, damage. you can see the other drone as well. You may as well take a shot while you can. Uh, not, not so great. Okay, I will get my assault to 
can kind of block the other drawing if she can. Let's do this. Probably should have been behind the van because 65, 65. Maybe a flesh wound. Why do I do this to myself? All right, who's next? Mary, Mary, can you please take down the drawing? You'll be lovely. You could do that. We'll put you up here, so you've got you've got the height advantage. Would that do 72? Yeah, that's pretty good. Enemy eliminated. That's my girl. Alright, now, Shinobi, we'll get you over here. Yeah, just keep, just have you keep an eye on things, so... And then, we've got my specialist, so... Now, you've got a... Heading out. Hmm, okay, so, obviously, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, move over here. I'm just gonna make sure that we don't... Alright, so, we know, we know that's... But I want to get him close no over there, boss. and he can take a shot at the drone if he can. No, he cannot. So we'll put him on Overwatch. 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 And 52. Nah, time to hack the drone. Let's take it. I mean, if you've got a 99% chance to shut down, you may as well take it. And then, you know, just someone else can just go ahead and take another shot next turn. So not too worried for the time being. Down you go. And yeah, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to control it. Oh. Like, I like how I help her over that and show the indicator. That's quite nice. I don't know if that actually happened before, but. Hack the planet. <laughs> so the good thing is because it drops loot, I can just move my my assault over there and then um get the ball rolling. All right. No, they're not quite here yet. Apparently, they're very close to my shinobi. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Um, I am not sure what's supposed to happen here. This is the most. I think ah. on it. There we go. Right on the margins. That's more like it. That was interesting. All right. Um, where? What? What just happened? She's like halfway in the ground now. Um, that's very interesting. Well, I'll get hit the slash what's his name for this and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Okay, well let's um let's Alright, I want T to zoom out. No wait, I want G to zoom out. There we go. Now, Jeff. It's a pity we can't really take advantage of a rocket or a bow over there. Whatever you say. Nineteen. Don't want to throw a grenade, don't want to throw a rocket. We definitely don't want to get rid of that loot. Okay. So where's that drone over there? I'm tired of waiting around. You better not miss this one. 100 percent of course. You won't miss. It's like playing football. You can't handle it. So here it is. Alright, so and then let's go slashy slashy on the Oh you can't go slashy. This is this is ridiculous. Alright. Where's my ranger? Oh, she needs to reload. She gets a free reload. Ready to go. Down here to go. I guess that'll be okay. It's nice to have the add on so early on, so. Flank? We do. Check it. I suppose I didn't really need the. the what's the name, so. Can I slash the other one? That'd be great. Now, I kind of want it to be in front of cover, so. Alright, there we go. I'm not gonna lie, that was a very interesting bug. But hey, at least she was still in the same place, basically. Now it's quiet. No? The music's still going. Closing on target position now. And overwatch. I probably should call for E back sometime soon, but I do want to get a little bit closer before I do that. Okay, I've just activated something. Or not. Okay. Well, uh, over here, I suppose. Moving to position. Call for evac next turn. Which oh. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but obviously we should go. We should uh, aim to go for Overwatch next turn. Alright. Um, Jeff, 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 Jeff. Now, where's the thing? It's actually like inside there. So I want it to be. I don't want you to peek around the corner just yet. Seems doable. We don't we, we don't want to activate anyone while we can. We, so we'll keep our distance a little and um, just go on Overwatch. 
What's over there? Hit you. Wrong place. Yeah, there you go. One little Overwatch can't really hurt too much. Who knows? Alright, so gonna get you to reload. Reloaded! And then get you to move a bit closer. Finally! And we have a ranger, of course, we should move the ranger further ahead while we can. Running! Now, and then we've got a rookie. And Ready you know what? Let's, let's call for evac while we can. Let's not be too um, stingy. Because, um, because, I mean, even though we could technically kill him, can you just. Need an evac! This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Not gonna be a big deal. Um, alright. On your order! I think I just activated the goddamn mob. Oh well. We've got eyes on the objective. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Advent troops spotted! We still have a flashbang, so we'll just flashbang the set to be done with that. Luckily they're, luckily they're fairly close together, so I don't need to worry too much. So, flashbang, pretty please. Over there, maybe, maybe not. Alright, who else has got a sh- Mary! Heading out. Well, this is gonna be lovely. Alright, uh, what else can we do? Command somebody? Just try and see if I can throw a flashbang through the, through the one to daisy and the, and then the one to name. Yes, no, maybe. You know what, let's pull back. Then just, no, okay. Can't see there. And then, and then they kind of have to wander through to see where we are. And good point, I will just. So that's a miss. That's a doozy. Oh. You know, despite having psionic powers, it didn't seem to be all that tactically strategic. Weird, I suppose. But uh, let's not complain too much about that. Um, okay, so we have a shinobi. She can't go slashy, slashy, unfortunately. So because someone on Overwatch, which means that maybe we can just fire a rocket into the thing. The problem is I don't want the rocket actually killing that thing. So, so let's just have a bit of fun. Bring in the pain. Lots and lots of pain. I forgot about the loot. That wasn't that wasn't very bright. Oh well. Alright. Now, Shinobi still can't go slashy slashy, so. So I'm just gonna run and gun blast the sectoid and then Where is the sectoid? It's like over there, so. I'm coming for you! Double time! Four to six with the critical damage too is definitely not going to kill. It's interesting actually. The, the sector can actually take a, a bullet to the chest. No, okay, no, that's on the zombie. I want you on the sector. Ready, please. I'm trusting you here. And so am I. Off you go. Right on the margin. Why? Alright, who's remaining? Um, you. Can you hack the thing? No, you can shoot the zombie. So I've got a shinobi and a rookie with remaining. Shinobi's not gonna do much. Um... No need to ask twice. I guess the rookie just has to... You know what? The sector isn't holding loot. We can just throw a grenade at it. So let's do that. Oh, it is holding loot. That's lovely. And I just got a lag spike, which... Oh, it means... Oh, it's because of those civilians. Alright, let's just throw... Like, fuck the loot, kill the sector. Heads down! Ay, 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 ay. Next time I'll be... Next time I'll be a bit better organised, but... For now, let's not... Let's not sweat... Let, let's not sweat it too much. Moving to position! We'll hack the what's-the-name, and then we'll, we'll... We'll start getting back up. Accessing system! Now, looks like it's a small or large Miguel cache, so... Let's see. Small or large? I mean. Well, she wasn't gonna get either anyway. Oh well. Got it. There we go. Alright, so now we're gonna think about getting 
back to the evac, which is up here. Which I stupidly, stupidly misclicked and put up there, but doesn't seem to actually be a problem for any of our soldiers, which is kind of, a, kind of a good thing, to be honest. Uh, so over here. Location confirmed. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to fast forward this bit just a little bit, and off we go. Goodbye, Evan. It's been fun. Avengers, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. There we go, and with no injuries this time, which is kind of a nice change from what, I, what I've been doing in some of my past XCOM missions, where sometimes it's always like one person who get injured. So, um, and sometimes, and there was definitely a situation where um, I sort of just activated that sector that last mob without, you know, intending to. That was kind of a bit of a reckless move, which definitely should not have happened. Ideally, should not have happened. But at this stage, um, it would definitely, well, let's just, let me just be straight with myself here. It could have been avoided. Could have been avoided if I hadn't run up my specialist up there. So it's definitely something to be improved on next time. What ideally we would have caught them in a overwatch trap when they patrol into our field of view. So certainly something to take away for next time, man. But I suppose at least I'm not playing on Iron Man. Um, because once again, you know, it's just like sometimes I have bad days. Today I've been fighting with them all day, so I've just been. It's, it's like when I come home. And the aliens paid the price. Great work, Commander. It's like when I come home, you know, I still just want to be able to make mistakes. Ever vigilant? Okay, ever vigilant is pretty much good for any range for any range you with high aim. So okay, find a hole 45 or napalm X. Disorient or panic is very very useful on a plane grower. Now um. You may parry melee attacks and counter attack with a melee weapon. Uh, that's not, that's not, that's, um, that's what I'm not interested in. Shadow step is definitely much more useful. Um, execution is also a possibility, but I think shadow step, it makes it really nice for a range to kind of just take out a vital target. And, uh, now, with 69 aim, not really liking your trench gun, but, um, still trench gun is no doubt very useful, so we will be taking advantage of that. We've got PCS plus one mobility, which is great, and, we have soldier to provide apparently. Oh, we got a rookie. Um, so you've got 63. 63 is alright. So, question is, what do we need more? Two of your swords, three grenadiers, two gunners, two rangers only. Well, you're not, you're not getting promoted to a ranger with 63 aim. You, you're gonna want to have much higher aim than that. So, um, I would think maybe putting you as a sharpshooter might be better or a grenadier. Or a perhaps a specialist. I wonder how many officers we need. We've got three. We've got three specialists at the moment. I think, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make Mary a specialist because the the reality is that we might be like we're gonna be rotating specialists out of the in and out of the officer training school. So it's nice to still have officers to be able to put on the field whenever we can. So we'll make her a specialist. Leave it at that. So um, she will at least be a valuable asset to our team. Now, we've got a, oh, we can get a scientist. Yes, please. Avenger plotting new course. Okay, and now, I, I'm pretty sure I've got another mission that's close to 100%. We've got 53, and then we've got an 8, and then uh, there's a smashing, yeah, that's the smashing grab. Uh, should I be up here for Avenger Call? Nah, no, that's expired too soon, so we just got to scan for this one. Thankfully, we're going to be getting a boost of intel, in, intel from the data pad decryption. I do apologize for the lag. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. <sighs> well, I'm sending intel. I'm not as intrigued as I might be from other things, so to speak. But uh, at least we can do at least we can do resistance radio research now, and that will keep us busy for the time being. Well, until we get until we get some supply to get this rolling, which is. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Even though we might not actually be able to take advantage of it, which is kind of a pain, but um, but not something I'm going to worry too much about now. Two rookies? No, one rookie, one resistance personnel, another rookie. We will definitely want this one. This is six stage four hours, so setting course for sector ten. So I should go do that one ASAP and get a team going. So in in a couple of seconds, you'll see. Okay, the, the next team that will be ready to go on this mission. 
All right, we've got Team Vader on the job, which is five people. Of course, we've got a Shinobi, Specialist, Technical Assault, and Gunner. So, since we're going to be missing, rescuing missions in contact, we're going to want a Specialist for at least the door hacking, uh, technical deploy stuff out, and Assault and Shinobi to kind of just, you know, get in there and do stuff, and the Gunner just, to kind of just pin people down with depression should any shit happen. But, of course, while it's extremely light, a lot of people should be worried, and since the infrastructure time is four days, 22 hours, it should be fairly straightforward. So, It'd be nice to actually find a game, finally get a fight to get the ball rolling. Obviously some people can't do it right now. So Sky Ranger Dimenis, ready to deploy. So off they go and we should go and grab our scientists, which Avenger will take another plotting new course. We should take another four hours, which won't be too long, which will be like a few seconds for us, so what am I getting worried about? Go, welcome Helen. Thank you for decreasing our research time now. Go to Google and Tactics School. I wanted to build a power plant. No, I've got a power plant already, so... They're clearing the alien machinery, so I've got the reality attack school alien machinery, space power coil, so... I'm just, try I'm just trying to figure out what I should be building next, so I don't quite remember. It's a pretty big... Good attack to school. I'm gonna build Advanced Warfare Center, so let's do that. Advanced Warfare Center construction initiated. There we go. At least we're actually spending our money on something. Um... Probably should have done that earlier though. Oh well. Now, moving on. Um, proving ground we don't really need just yet. It'll be nice to get that going once we get the skull jacket and complete our research. But for now, we can definitely just head back here and get Setting scanning. course for Eastern United States. Of course, this uh this uh, video will be wrapped up fairly soon because we have another machine that's about to hit 100%. All right, zero days, 40 hours. That's not gonna happen. 98. That's 100%. Sorry. Thank you for watching, I will see you on the next video where we will take on a smash and grab mission called In Prison in Detroit. Hmm.